I think we're living in a very diverse country now. Um, and if you look at the nativity, traditionally, it's Mary and Joseph, whereas when I, every time I go to the nativity play, it's a loose story. And I think, yeah, it's time to modernise it a little bit yeah. and bring, bring a bit about diversity. Yeah. Why would you want Elvis what? and lobsters? Why would you not want Elvis and lobsters? <laughs> well, because the nativity is You've actually... You've got to see it through for 90 minutes. Because the nativity <laughs> is supposed to reflect what Christmas is actually about, which, which is... Yeah. It's a religious festival, right? I mean... It's, yeah. it's about the birth of Jesus Christ, not the birth of Elvis or a lobster. Well, right. when you go to watch the Nativity, do you go and watch it because of the storyline or do you go and watch your children perform? No, I think we're telling a specific story here. In RE. We're telling the story of Christmas. It is like an RE lesson, isn't it? Well, yeah, but why? I don't want to watch an RE name, lesson. It's Chris, Christ Mass. Christmas. Well, Mass. But also, we've capitalised... I can't talk today. We've capitalised on everything to do with Christmas. Yes. Um, we've modernised everything to do with Christmas. Do you so celebrate not... Christmas? Of course I celebrate you Christmas. You understand that... But I also take my children to church. But you understand that... The Christ you... in Christmas is Christ. It's yes, of course. It's not yeah. Elvis. Have you, it's Jessica's Elvis. arguing that there it's should be a Elvis lobster Mus. in the manger, are you? But you want I to... just think, yeah, just modernise it. And I think when you go to... I mean, if you want to learn about religious education, you study religious education. Mm -hmm. When you go to a Catholic school, they teach all about Christmas, they teach all about yeah. Christ. Um, but for the nativity play, you've got children there who, who maybe aren't religious, who have yes. to follow a storyline. Yeah. You've got different cultures, you've got a, di a diverse set yeah. of children. Even though it was in the Bible, perhaps in 2018 we can play a little bit more fast and I loose I think it's a it. pretty fast and loose story as it is, you know, so being you impregnated by Christ. Um, you know, it's spicy enough, we don't need to modernise it. Pressure to modernise. All we're doing is telling the story of Christmas. So why do we have the, to ruin everything? It's a Christian everything. festival. It's not ruined. Week, last it, week, it, do you like last that week, baby? baby is cold outside had to be banned because now it's about sexual harassment, right? You know what's happened? It's now number two on the iTunes festive hit list, the Dean Martin version, because most people aren't loony. Yeah, but people aren't right? going to boycott. They don't believe in they're the, not gonna the, the nativity play. They don't want to make the best hell Christmas out of everything. So I've it's seen really meaning. the best Christmas advert I've seen, and I'm sure a lot of the viewers will agree, it's the one with the plug. That is a modern Christmas advert when he runs up and he plugs himself and the lights come on. That is the type of nativity I want to watch. What? I suppose that if, if you're not going to embrace uh, the Christian tradition of Christmas... Well, we do embrace you know, it, If you're not going to have a nativity, nativity, do you also forego the tree? Do oh, you? Come on, where's the end? You know, it's a tradition. Let's keep the tradition it was the Christmas tree when Jesus was born. It wasn't there. We've modernised <laughs> it. Where were the you decorations? See? Where there were we all go. the presents apart from frankincense and myrrh? But why do we celebrate Christmas? To be, for me personally, it's to be with family and friends when you don't have a chance to see them. It's yeah. to spend time, quality time, where I'm not working, I'm not stressed, I can just enjoy Christmas. So you want the food, the drink, the good stuff, a bit of Elvis, a few lobsters. But we lobsters. take the kids to church as well. You, yeah. don't know what, you don't want to actually have anything no, that I reflects want. what Christmas is really no, about. No, but Jessica the nativity makes a good point. That. The food and the drink and the presents aren't necessarily part of a Christian tradition. And also, when you watch the nativity... But it is a Christian festival, and I think if we teach children about, say, Diwali, then we'll teach them... We're not going to change the lights to something else to be more inclusive. We teach them what it is about. You know and what? Like it's going to be soon. I mean, look, we have to get rid of Father Christmas because you can't have him as a father, right? No! Nobody's Keep Santa! We can't have three wise men because there aren't any, right? No, there's no wise men left. As a radical feminist will tell you, they all have to go. Three wise women... Right, Mother Christmas, mm -hmm. and then we have lobsters and Elvis, and this is the future, everybody. Actually, this to is be the honest, way lots of people do now have lobster at Christmas. There we go. Rather than yeah. Yeah. No, the only thing that offended me about my son's nativity was the fact he didn't get Joseph. You there we go. That, it's all about the that's parents. That's the bigger it's issue. It's about the parents. Yeah. That's why we well, don't in a lobster. You get the good parts if your kid's talented. That's it. He <laughs> is. Mine's in the green room. Are you going to go and tell him that? I'll just tell him. That. If you're not getting the bit... Yes, I will, actually. Amy, I'll give him the same motivational ready. speech I gave my kids. Oh and you know what? God. They went from being also rants to front line. But Inky is not it. bad, is it? What you don't do is, oh, you were brilliant as the little Lobster. statue in the corner, right? No. I don't know how you... As Elvis, You're right? proud of them that. whatever Joseph they are. Them you are proud of them whatever they are, but you want to aspire to be Joseph and Mary. They're Ella big, Rose is going to be the donkey this year. And I was, oh, I was thinking, I mean, look, it's a pivotal role. It plays a pivotal <laughs> role. And then I found out that all the nursery are donkeys, so there's going to be 18 donkeys. Were you a donkey when you were young? Someone at Freddy's was the shed door. <laughs>